Hey there everybody, welcome back into the kitchen here at Clean Valley Farms. Now I bet you're thinking I'm probably misplacing a kitchen video, but I'm not. I'm just making use of the kitchen table now that we've got one. So this is the long-awaited spawning mop video. This is so stupidly simple. Probably won't even take two minutes. Let's get started. So here are four of these. Basically, I'm just putting them together like you would uh, bowstring silencers, which will make more sense to you archers than to anybody else. But I'm going to grab shocks here in a minute. She'll uh, do some camera work. I'll show you how I'm putting these together. Then I'm going to string them up and drop them in the fish tank. Told you this was quick. So basically all I'm doing here is I'm just wrapping the yarn around until I'm tired of encircling my fingers. And that'll be good several wraps there, cutting the yarn and then I'll just tie it off in the middle here. This is uh, probably the most awkward part of this whole adventure. I blame the rings. Put it tight, nice and tight in the middle. Catch it on a loop. This is probably hard to see with my moving hands and the black yarn, but I've got this going through. I'm trying to get this going through. Not a crafter. Got one knot. I'm going to do that again. Wasn't a Boy Scout either. Knots are not my thing. Alright, so that's nice and tight. I've got my two loop ends here. Just going to run the scissors through, cut them all so they're loose, and then that's basically done. Next here I'm just going to take a microwave safe bowl and stuff all of these into my water. Then I'm going to nuke these for a couple of minutes just to like sanitize the yarn and uh, make sure any excessive dye comes out or whatever because I don't want to dye my fish black. And I'm also going to sanitize this chunk here that I'm going to tie it all up with. So, we'll get back as I'm putting it together. You know what? Check that. We'll get back after it cools off and I'm putting it together. Well, it doesn't look like this shed a lot of dye. So once it's dried, or I should say once it's cooled down, look at that fogging up the lens. Yeah, ready, not ready to touch that yet. So now that these have cooled off a little bit, I'm just going to pull them out and throw them on a dish towel here. Let them get a little bit more manageable. Maybe I should have moved the fork. Let them get a little bit more manageable. See if I can separate the string from the little spawning mops here. Oh, that looks like my string or something came undone. Pretty sure that's the string. And there we go. Five string. Time to tie it all together. Now with all of these little floppy bits of yarn tied on there, it's just a matter of Sticking it into the tote and explaining to the fish when they do the nasty, do it in here. Alright guys and gals, when you get to doing the nasty spawn chase in there, that's what your little black rope here is for. So that does manage to fit pretty much from the standing pipe down to the bottom. I thought maybe I'd have to tie a piece of PVC or something onto it to keep it down there, but seems to be working just fine. So if you want to see a good video on spawning mops and their use and all that stuff, I strongly recommend you check out a different video. This is pretty much just to explain in the future why I have this black thing hanging in my tank. So, yeah, that's about that. So on that note, if you have watched through to this point, I really do appreciate your spending the time with me today on this semi-pointless aquaponic project. I really doubt I'm going to get a lot of success out of that, but better chance of success with a spawning mop than without one. So. I don't know, do we say here's to hope on that one? Who knows? Anywho, I think that's probably it for now, and I will see you guys on Sunday. Take care until then, everybody.